tablet. Okay, so if you just go into drafts, for example, um, that's generally how I start a new node. Um, right now I'm practicing dictation via transcription. Um, generally what I do is just talk to myself and use our blog to listen to what I was saying. So I don't always send it for transcription, but you can if you want to. So if I click new dictation, it will record. If you see down here, it can see it's recording. <clears throat> While it's recording, I can go do other things, like I can go to the browser, um, do a Google search, or I can go to my PDF, which I was reading, um, and do some annotations, summarize this page, go Volume to the next page. Groups. Summarize our primary motivation for this work, but other implications may apply. So, or listen to the PDF that I was reading. So. Um, all of this can be done work has shown that the while our blog is running. Boundaries is a complex one, and a number of acoustic correlates of prosonic boundaries, including speaking rate, intonation, intensity, and voice. So I can do all of these things concurrently. So while I'm in our blog, you can see that it attached a, a recording to this, and it, it sent it to the transcription server. Um, and, the, um, and while I'm waiting for my transcription to come in, I can check the status of it, which tells you like what your microphone is, the quality of your microphone, what's going on right now. It's sent it to the tra transcription server. If you want to only send um, certain files, like this right now it's set to only send over Wi-Fi by default, um, so that you don't use your bandwidth. Okay, so that's what it looks like um, when you get your transcription results back. You can click on import, if you can see the button, and it will put it in your blog entry.